Good Talk by Mira Jacob. Exigence. Mira Jacobs, author of Good Talk, was inspired by her six-year-old son, Z, who became obsessed with Michael Jackson and his drastic change in appearance over the years. This started making Z wonder about his own race. Z's biracial, his mom is Indian, and his dad is white. So he started asking a lot of questions about race to see where he fit into all of it. It was 2016 and Black Lives Matter and Trump's election was a hot topic, so he asked if white people were afraid of brown people, which led him to ask, Is daddy afraid of me? Wait, what? After all the hard questioning, Mira went down memory lane and remembered that she was also really curious growing up, especially about her skin color as a dark-skinned Indian girl. So she wanted to write a book to help explain things the best she could to her son. I'm just trying to save my audience. The targeted audience for this book is young adults and parents of curious kids like Mira's son. Mira Jacobs' purpose is to open up the conversation about love and race within interracial couples, touch on the topic of arranged marriages in Indian culture, and tackle conversations that may be taboo to talk about, especially with young kids, which she explains well throughout the book, talking about her own marriage, her parents' marriage, and her talks with her son when he asks her questions. See, I am the organizer of this organization. Mira organizes her book in a flashback kind of style, going from past to present. In one scene, she could be having a conversation with her family, and in the next, it's a memory that may pertain to the purpose. An interesting way she organizes the book is that the entire book is made up of conversations with narration to further explain things. Throughout the book, Mira gets older in her memories, all the way up to meeting her husband Jed and having Z. I got that massive pill. The pill Mira uses most is ethos. The whole book is Mira's memories of her own life, which she uses to touch on interracial marriage because of her and her husband, arranged marriages because of her parents, and being dark in an Indian culture because she's the darkest in her family. So she has some credibility when it comes to covering these topics, which works and helps the reader understand her point of views better. Good Talk taught me a lot about Mira's life growing up and her adulthood, but also about her culture versus her husband's culture and how they came together. She also talks about how she learned more about not only her own race and culture, but other people she may have been ignorant to. All in all, I would definitely recommend this book to others. Not only is it informational, but it's also funny and an enjoyable read.